Yo, either God here coming to you live and direct. This is my first video, and in this video, I will be talking about a lot of topics. And <clears throat> disclaimer, I do not know everything, but let's get right into it. First of all, I want to talk about whatever happened to black people, so-called black people anyway. Like, I want to know why hasn't anybody ever stood up together against the ones who's pulling the strings, like the ones behind the politicians, the government, uh, the military, etc. Nobody ever stood up and questioned those authorities, not once. For eons and eons, we complied and compl uh, complied with how we live, and you know, going by the systems, uh, laws, and you know, stuff like that. And not even, not even just the black people, but non-black people as well. And no, I'm not racist. But anyway, uh, for eons and eons, we did nothing. <clears throat> and we continue to fall for this black versus white trap. I don't get how people can still fall for that trap. Black power, white power. <clears throat> It's just a play on energies, yin and yang, and I don't see how specifically black people can be so tired of how life is or has been for all of us for eons and eons, but haven't stood up not once together as a unit against the ones in power. Not to not to mention just black people, but non-black people as well. They they also continue to comply with the system. I don't get it. It's like nobody ever thought for once to say, "Hey, we're both in slavery. We're both, uh, you know, working nine to five to make a so-called living." And you would think that we would put our differences aside and come together as a unit and, you know, go after the ones who's orchestrating all of this, you know, chaos and stuff like that. But no, we continue to fall victim to the trap, black versus white. And it's sad because they put all of the, the all of the, um... The answer's right in front of our face. But some of us have been dumbed down so much till it's like they can't they can't see it. <laughs> and it's sad. I don't get it. I just don't get it. How tired do we have to be to stand up together as a unit to go after the ones who's running this show? Because it's all a game. They're running game on us. Like, if you just look around, like, my perspective of life <clears throat> is basically nature. It started out with nature. We all started out naked, without clothes, etc., you know. But now they have us wearing clothes. You know, everything, you know, uh, everything to prevent us from connecting with the creator, our creator. And it's like mind boggling. Like, how can you look at everything around you as normal? These beings are not from this realm. It's clear as day. And nobody continues to question this or question their existence. Nobody questions what are we eating in these fast food restaurants. You just all you see is people in lines, just you know, uh, ready to buy. <coughs> excuse me, ready to buy whatever you know they ordering. They, nobody's questioning. Nobody's questioning nothing. They just going about their day. Just you know, I don't get it. Like it's sad. Like this really is the Matrix. <laughs> this really is the Matrix. And. I just want to know, like, like what happened? Like, when did this, when did this takeover start? Because it's like 
the first generation to ever get destroyed is like no like after that the 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 following generation did nothing uh you know to to get revenge on the you know the previous generation for getting destroyed I don't get it like how can you allow that that's why I agree with what Kanye West said when slavery is a choice. We continue to allow them to uh, keep us in bondage, keep us mentally blind. We allow it. We continue to allow it as a whole, not just black people, but white people too. Mexican people, Hispanic, etc. If we all just come together, we... You know, we will basically have the upper hand, but, you know, of course, the elites or the powers that be are going to continuously orchestrate crime or, you know, black versus white to keep us all fighting each other and keep us at the bottom of the barrel as a whole. But specifically, I'm for my own race. Even though I'm not racist, but I feel that the indigenous people were attacked first. Everybody else came after, and now we're all being attacked. USA, it's us all. USA, it's us all. We're all being attacked now. So I feel like it's up to us as a whole to go after the ones who's orchestrating this big scam, this big scheme game they got, you know, playing on us. And <clears throat> let's see what else I want to talk about. Like, as far as these vaccinations that, you know, the media have been talking about, I want to know why are some people for this vaccination? Like the creator did not create a syringe to be stuck up us. That's all man created. Man made, manufactured. And people think that's normal. And yet our parents continuously allow <coughs> excuse me these beings to you know continuously inject their kids and you know not question it I don't like what so I definitely blame the parents the grandparents and their grandparents grandparents etc because they continue to do nothing. Like, like we became weak people. We're literally all weak. Because we, we not doing nothing to stand up against the ones who in, who's in power. We're weak people. And I feel like this needs to be said. This needs to be voiced worldwide. We need to come together. Times are cracking down even more. You know, that is since... Is so called 2020. And <clears throat> it's just crazy. I don't get it. This world, they got us so blind, so mentally blind. They got our people blind. And people continuously go to work every day and talk about the same old things simulated conversations, sports, drama, baby mama. <clears throat> Excuse me. And etc. Like it's just and also uh I wanna touch on the the women. The women, they destroyed the women by having them uh wear makeup, lipstick, eyeshadow, eyelashes, weave, bobs. Tracks, wigs, etc. Everything to keep them from their creator. 
And it's sad because women are the ones who bring both male and female into this realm, yet they don't see that they're being attacked. And that's how deep the the scheme is, the scam that they running on the on the women. And I feel like until the women, the woman are fixed and healed, I feel like the men would then follow fall in line. But yes, the men they're they're uh you know uh weak and you know, watered down as well. But it's because the woman has been destroyed. Because when mama is destroyed, you know, everything out there is destroyed, in my opinion. Some of you may think different. But, uh, that's pretty much what I want to talk to you all about right now. And I just uh, feel like we all should just come together somehow. We need to stand up together. Stop being scared of death because we're doomed anyway, regardless. So, not, so why not die trying, in my opinion? If we're dead, we might as well die trying. So... With that being said, leave your opinions in the comment section, and I'll respond in a timely manner, or you can DM me, or you can follow me at underscore ELPJR on Instagram, and I appreciate you all for listening. Until next time, either God signing out. Peace.